you guys feel like you practice and show like you guys are the number one team in the country? Do you feel like if that's the product you're showing right now? I mean, really, we're not really worried about ranking. And when you out here every day grinding, you're not really thinking about, oh, we number eight. We're just trying to practice and get better every day. That's the main thing for us right now. Is there anything that you've noticed that maybe has, shot, has surprised you offensively about this ball club that maybe some, some of the younger guys are stepping up along with yourself? Come again. Like, <laughs> has there been any surprises on offense, something that's really okay. over a little bit deeper than I thought we would? Well, the changes we've made to the offense, I'm, I'm loving them, honestly. We're putting in some, some good run plays. and I mean, every time, I'm, I'm just impressed and I'm happy to be here right now. How's practice going so far for you guys? Well, we're getting better every day. That's the thing that matters. We go in, we practice hard, and then we go to the film room and get better and uh, correct our mistakes from the last practice and try to make the next practice better. Are you like, liking what you're seeing out of these guys and the growth so far? Well, yeah, man. I mean, we are working hard. That's the main thing. We got the talent. So if the talent is working hard, then you're going to have a good year. Can you can okay make it easier? Can you compare this year to last year? Is it better this year? Is this team better this year than it was at this time last year? Well, I think the confidence level that we have now, knowing that we can do something. You know, last year we was just scared. We was like, man, we got to do something or else we're gonna be the laughing stock. You know, I could kind of feel that. And I was young, I really didn't know what was going on. I was just trying to make it each day at, at camp and trying to work hard and <laughs> trying to fit in. But I can tell the expectation level was a lot higher this year. So of course it's more fun. Talk about the competition between you guys as running backs. Is that something that drives you? Every day, because uh, you go on the film and you'd be like, man, I can do this better. And I, I take things from Jeremy's game that I can apply to mine to make me a better player. And I'm sure he could probably say the same. And we just work together like that. And it'll make us both better players in the end. Got to ask about the competition a little bit deeper than that, because you've got the, the freshman Herschel and you have Kai pushing you guys as well. I mean, right. how has he been as a freshman? I know he got a little bit more look today as far as uh, reps. Well, um, he's very mature for his age, I will say that. Like, he uh, ball security and everything like that. He's a very He has a lot of potential, I could say that. It's still early, but he has a lot of potential and shows us a lot of good things. Have you noticed this competition kind of playing off what you told him is, is pushing you guys harder because there's so much depth now as anybody? I mean, every day is a grind, you know, because, I mean, you know, you got Jeremy in there and you got some uh, studs, this freshman, you know, so you just keep working hard every day. We all are, you know, as a group. I want to make sure I'm clear on something you told me. You played tackle football at three, at the age of three. I played way, way back safety. The line of scrimmage was 35 yards ahead of me, and I would come up and jump on the pal after the play. And the refs wouldn't even say nothing. They'd be like, oh, that's a little random. All right. you know. Now, where did they find a the helmet and shoulder pads for the three year old? My, my uh, knee pads went all the way to my ankles. <laughs> so, I mean, they didn't actually fit me right. You know, my thigh pads was on my knees and, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, it was, it was fun. I was just out there with the guys hanging out on the sideline until we was up by a lot. And I'd go jump on the pile a few times. <laughs> Well, my dad was the coach. I understand that. So he, she made sure everything was all right. Yeah, so that was always fun. I, I didn't, if I didn't get in the game, I'd be pretty mad. I remember on picture day, I took it. My brother had to take a picture with me because I didn't get in, and I was mad and didn't want to take pictures. But yeah, it was fun, man. That was some good days. So you played, you have played football every year of your life, three on. Every year. So you're a 19. Uh, you're a 17-year uh, veteran. Loved every year of it. Loved every year of it. At what point did you uh, uh, they throw in the backfield and let you start carrying the football? When I was about five, I started taking snaps. So I, I played quarterback until eighth grade. Now my dad always thought that's how you learn the game better at quarterback. And then when I got to high school, I moved over to running back. So if you were three, how old were the boys you were playing with? They were in second grade because that's when they they uh, start. Just the first tackle football. Yeah, and then when I got old enough to drop down to my second grade team, and I went down, my first year I think I had 32 touchdowns, <laughs> and I mean, you know, I was ready to go. Right. So. Can you remember playing football at three? You remember those games in that time? I remember being on the sideline more than anything, playing around on the sideline, and you know, wrestling with people on the sideline, you know, that kind of stuff.